Hello everyone, it's me Heather. So I wanted to tell you guys about a festival that we have here in Izuka. It's the Yamakasa. Yamakasa is basically a float that doesn't have wheels and the men hoist it up onto their shoulders and carry it. From what I've heard, it is very heavy. So this festival started back in the Kyoho period, back in 1716 to 1736. So the way it works is there are four yamakasas, or four floats. They are called the nagare. They represent the four districts in Izuka. At the end of June, the teams meet and they decide on what color they want. And they also recruit all the people they are going to need for the yamakasa because it takes lots of people and switching. So on July 1st is the Oshio Itori ritual. Sorry if I said that wrong. It's the practice where the guys are practicing moving their float with no wheels, which is very difficult because it's very heavy. Then on July 11th and 13th, they have the Nagaregaki, which is the practice running in their districts. So this is where you will be in your house and you might hear a bunch of loud cheering because the guys are practicing running through their district to get used to the float and carrying it. So this is also when elementary schools and kindergartens will also be having their little yamakasas and walking around their neighborhoods uh, at the same time. So it's really exciting. So next I want to show you the pictures and the videos from the festival so you can see the races that took place. So I hope you guys all enjoy the videos and I hope you find it entertaining and exciting. This is a big part of Japanese culture. So hope you enjoy the video. July 15th marks the day of the race. It is called Oiyama. First, there is a ceremony where all the four teams express their hope to win the race. Next, all the floats move to the starting line and all the spectators go to watch. The race begins and after all the floats have finished their race, the floats are then moved back to the location of the ceremony where the speeches are made and champions are named. After that, then everybody enjoys some food and drinks. Now is team one. Now is team two. Now is team three. This is the closing ceremonies. This is where each team finds out how they ranked and how fast they ran, and the champions will get a flag and a trophy.